Control your computer via your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, even if said computer is in another zip code. That's pretty cool. App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your premier source of mobile app reviews and news. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. Now we've all at one point in our lives needed to access the computer remotely. Maybe you needed to email yourself a file, or you forgot to turn off iTunes and it's screwing up your last FM charts. Or maybe you just really want to freak people out. Whatever the reason, Log Me In Ignition is most likely the app you're looking for. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign up for a Log Me In free or pro account. I'd stick to the free version for now. Download the client software on any computer you want to remotely control. Then head over to the App Store and download Log Me In Ignition. Your purchase is valid for both the iPhone and the awesome iPad version, which I'm demoing today. Now simply sign into the app with the login you created earlier and get ready to be giddy. When you first sign on to a computer, you're going to get prompted to enter a username and password. This is the remote computer's username and password, not your logging in account. You'll be presented with a list of tips and finally, beautiful and responsive remote access. We're going to go over app features, pros and cons, but first, a word from our sponsor. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii console. As a new member and an App Judgment viewer, you get a free trial membership. So go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. All right, let's do some remote controlling. Touch control works like a mouse, you pick up off the table and back on to continue to move. You can even give the cursor a little flick to get some inertia into that little sucker. Tap once for single click and use two fingers for the right click which is much quicker than tapping on the mousing button below. Pinch to zoom is going to get you closer to image details and you get pretty good window scrolling while mousing when you're zoomed in. Drag and drop wasn't the most intuitive of motions but after reading the startup tips again, it was so easy I awarded myself with a well-placed face palm. Double tap but keep your finger on the screen on the second tap, then move the item where you want. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh you have two screens and you love your old Etch-a-Sketch? You're in luck. You get to shake your device to switch screens, by far one of the coolest accelerometer gimmicks out there. You of course have a keyboard, some key combination buttons, zoom, and a settings window. The only thing I changed here is setting color quality to automatic in order to optimize depending on your network speed. Something that isn't so cool, the blank screen and lock button features don't work on Macs with no explanation as to why anywhere, not even on their website, except for a group of complaining forum users. Now, Murphy's Law says that by the time this episode is out, they'll fix that little annoyance and I'll be eating my words. But since I'm trying to stay ahead of Murphy's Law, that probably won't be the case, and now I'm just babbling. Uh, more pros and cons. You don't get audio in the remote session, so don't expect this to be your Hulu on the iPad solution. Besides, the frame rates are a little too sluggish for anything with major motion. At nearly $30, this little app is demanding big commitment. But the ability to see any computer screen you want anywhere with an interface that is near perfect is a beautiful thing. Huge bonus points for not having to deal with IP addresses or port forwarding or routers. This is 2010. Nobody should have to forward a port in this day and age. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you can swing it, download this app. We like this app so much we contacted LogMeIn and teamed up with them to give a copy of LogMeIn Ignition to a lucky App Judgment fan. All you have to do is follow us at twitter.com slash appjudgment and retweet the contest tweet we'll be posting today, Wednesday, May 26th. We'll then choose a winner at random from the retweets next Tuesday, June 1st. So make sure you subscribe to App Judgment and hit that retweet button to win. 
What are you using to connect remotely to your computer? Hit me up at appjudgment at revision3.com or at twitter.com slash malbrowncow. Check us out on our super awesome fun time social websites like YouTube, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, and at the mothership revision3.com. And don't forget about YouTube. I'll see you next time.